Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install mods, custom content, and three files, which basically are the same things, but just slightly different for The Sims 4 on a Mac. And I'll explain all about tray files and mods and all the kind of stuff in a second. But I just wanted to put a disclaimer out here that I do not own a Mac. And you guys got like, you, you just spammed me with so many questions about how to download or get mods to work on a Mac because I did a tutorial and you know it wasn't for a Mac and a lot of Mac users were well not really complaining but more or less so a bit frustrated and wondering like how it would work for a Mac so I actually had to do some research on that but I promised you guys that I would look into it so I could help you guys a lot more than just say well I don't know I don't have one so it is what I did. I went online and I found some stuff. It actually is not that different from um, any other system. You know what I mean? Like it's not any different than my other tutorials I have done. There's just a slight difference in um, the location of the folders and everything else. So basically, there will be some. Um, we call it. Will be some gelijkenissen with the other tutorial I did, but. That doesn't mean that it's not worth making a whole video about just for those who have a Mac and feel a little bit hopeless. Hopefully I can help you guys out so let's get started. So first we're going to start with the base game. Well not the base game but the base basic loading screen. Smooth. So what we're gonna do is go to your settings. So mine version is in Dutch but that should not matter because well because I'm explaining it. Mm. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to the last one, this one, the last one in the, in the, in the row. And then you want to go here where it says scripts, mod, modifications, mod, something with mod. There's no other thing that says mod, so it's this one. Then you want to allow this. This basically turns on all the mods and custom content and everything else in your game. So if you were to download something and it wouldn't show up, perhaps this is why you have to turn it on. So make sure this is turned on. The next thing you want to do, and I'm going to go to the gallery for this one. Now, when you download a tray file, for example, the first thing you want to do is go over to your library. Now, if you have a tray file, um, which basically means that if you download a sim from the internet instead of in the game, so in the game you would go to, you know, the community and be like, well, this is a nice sim, you know, and you would just go over here and download this in your game. Now, if you have like, um, if you download from a website, for example, Mod the Sims or The Sims Resource, you basically download a sim and that comes in a tray file. Well, it, there's multiple files that come, but basically it's a tray file. And you're going to have to put it in a different folder than your regular custom content as this like add something like a house or a sim it adds to your game and custom content is 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 different it's more like a mod you know what i mean like i and technically it's about the same but there's just two different folders where it should be in so houses and sims from the internet like i said if you download those those go into your tree file and or your tray folder and custom content as in mods like um clothing accessories objects that will go into your mods folder is basically where you're going to find your tray file. What you want to do if it doesn't show up, you go over here to advanced and you just click this one. It says include custom content. And if we do that, it'll basically show you a whole nother list with things downloaded. So here we go. Here's just some things that I have created and saved. But because I was using mods or custom content, this is basically what showed up. And yes, I have a lot of the same zooms, but better to be safe than sorry. Alright, so I think we're all kind of familiar with this step, but to download, all you gotta do is go to website, press download, so I'm gonna do that. We'll just wait for a second to give that a time, give it some time to load. Alright, so I'm going to save this one, but for the sake of showing you guys how it all works, I'm also going to, oops, be, really, be, okay, hold up. So like I was saying, for the sake of testing and showing you guys, I'm also going to download a house because that would be a tray file instead of um, a regular mods package file, which, you know, goes into your mods. So I'm just going to pick one. I'm not going to be picky because I'm not going to use it, but I'm just going to show you the differences in um, the folder and file and whatever it looks like and 
just so you know the difference between the two and you know where to put them. Right here we have my amazing download folder and the file is right, right here. So sometimes folders like this come into, or not folders, files like this come into a folder and basically you're going to have to extract the file within the folder. So you'll probably need WinSIB, WinRAR, whatever kind of extraction program to get that file out of that folder. Um, but if you download from the Sims resource, as long as it's not a set or anything like a set, basically if it's just one thing, it will just come like a package file. And this package file will just go into your mods. Now for me, my mods is located in Documents, um, Electronic Arts, and then The Sims 4. I looked it up and it's the same location for the uh, Mac users. And all you're going to do is click on this and then in this folder there should be um, one a tray folder and it should also be a mods folder right there. So these are the two basics ones you're going to need and these are both already made by the creator of the game like it came with the base game so you should not have to worry about making these and if you do not have them you can just make them yourself there is like no problem in like making them yourself but i'm pretty sure if you just if you were to ever accidentally delete them and just you know load up your game again they'll probably go back because they're just made you know for the game they're just standard in the game so I'll just give you a quick look inside my mods folder, but I, I would say keep it organized and write the names, like write the dates on the folders if you download something so you can actually look back and think, okay, my game is stopped working. What did I download the last? And you could just look at the folder and just take out whatever is corrupt or whatever. And, you know, in that way it keeps it organized and you're certainly that you're not having to delete or go through like freaking thousands of CC items just to find that one faulty piece of CC. So that would be my tip, just, I don't know what that is doing in here, but I would definitely go ahead and try organize this as much as you can. Our home is done. So here we have uh, a lot of things. So these are all from that one folder. And you would just do we put them in here. Now, I don't know if you can make folders. So please, like I said, don't quote me on this as well. But you can just place them in here and they should show up in your game. I'm not going to download because I'm not interested in downloading any houses, but if you were to do this, I have done this before, it would definitely work. And like I said, the locations are the same for, you know, the other, like, like in the other tutorials and stuff like I did. Now I came across this website which actually has um, some tips for Mac users, which I thought that it would be um, perfect for you guys. Um, your trade folder would definitely be in here in this, in this row. Um, and yeah, basically anything you want to know, like organizing your folders, removing stuff, some questions. Um, I just saw this and I thought that it might help you guys with your questions as I'm not a Mac user, so I definitely cannot answer them all. Now I also found this other page which basically has um, some issues for Mac users. Um, and there are some um, issues actually posted by SimGuru. Um, so these are definitely things that are wrong for, not wrong, but faulty, you know, in the game for Mac users. And as you guys can see, some are fixed with patches. Um, so for example, there was um, a script mod would crash uh, on boot on Mac and it was fixed in patch 1.4, blah, 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 release on February 20th. And then, um, for example, we have some of the latest um, issue, for example, is, um, well, this, you can just read it for yourself. It's just, because the content plays within subdirectories do not appear for game for some people. This is due to the content of the mods being copied directly PC, blah, blah, blah. Uh, neither, uh, note all these, blah, 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 I cannot talk. <laughs> note all these issues are Mac specific and do not occur on the PC. So this is definitely a helpful form as well for any of you guys who have problems. Yeah, so that's basically all I can really advise you guys over how to install mods. It's basically the same, like I said, for a PC, but... I did get so many questions for Mac that I thought that making a video would be just a lot easier and all I will really do is, um, not all I will really do, but all I'll do is, what I'll do, I cannot talk today, I'm sorry, what I'll do is I'll have a link in the comment section uh, below, I will post a link to the um, PC version and then I'll have a link to the Mac version on the PC version, so you can check them out both, I think I did 
one I, I think in the PC one twice because I still had a lot of questions but it doesn't matter which version you watch um, any any version is, is alright as long as you guys can enjoy your CC I'll leave your questions down below if you have any questions I'll feel free to ask I'll make sure to try my best to solve these issues I hope you guys found this helpful um, let me know if there's anything else um, about Sims 4 Moss you guys don't understand or you know, whatever, whatever issues there might be, might me, might maybe. Okay. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.